thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If you would please like, thumbs up this video, and subscribe. Please, guys, I need my family to build. My subscribers have gone up tremendously, and I just want them to keep going up and up and up. Thank you guys to all of my supporters. So today, I have a video on a drugstore haul that I uh, did at CVS. Um, so I initially went in there to get one thing, which was the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I ended up spending like $80. But I'm gonna go over everything that I got with you guys, and I'm excited to try everything. Um, and like I said, I went to CVS and I actually got some rewards cash back. I got one for $4 and I got one for $5. So that means on my next purchase at CVS, I can spend $9 for free. So here is my stuff. And you guys know I normally don't do like drugstore makeup, but I wanted to try something a little different. I really did want to get the LA Girl concealer. So I got that and I got a few more things. So, since I didn't know exactly what color I am in the LA Girl Concealer, I ended up getting three different kinds. I'm gonna share with you right now which ones I got. I got Warm Honey, Pure Beige, and Light Ivory. These are the three concealers I got. These will be used under my eyes to clean up my eyebrows, just anywhere where I wanna conceal. I'm really excited about using them, and again, I got three because I really didn't know what shade I am. So I might even use these, and I may not even be the right color. But this is just a trial and error type thing, so I'm very excited to use these. And once again, they were $3.99. I have the receipt right here. And these were the rewards I got. So those were $3.99. The next thing I got, which I got two of, um, is by NYX. This is a professional makeup, so they say. And it reminds me kind of like a MAC mineralized skin finish. So I got it in a lighter color, which was the NFFP 10, and the darker color in 13. So I feel like this is, can be kind of used as like a contour or just like a finish to kind of set my makeup. So I really want to try this. I can't wait to give you guys looks using these products, the NYX. It's the No Filter Sans Filter Finishing Powder. So, oh, and I forgot to share with you guys what lip gloss I have on. So everybody knows that I really love Snob by MAC. It's a lip satin, it's like a pink color. But I wanted to do something kind of cheap and at the drugstore as a lip gloss alternative. So I know it probably looks like I have on Snob, but actually I have on this Maybelline lip gloss called Vivid Hot Lacquer in the color Too Cute, and it's number 66. And here it is, and I, what I love about it is this thick applicator. Like this applicator is so thick, and it has like a little tip on it where you kind of like bend it, and it goes on perfect. I really love this, and this was like $3.99. This is super cute, and especially if I don't want to put on lipstick, I can always just keep this in my car and then just put this on, and then I'll have the same look as if I was wearing Snob, which is one of my favorite lipsticks at MAC. I put a lot of my friends onto that lipstick too, honey, so y'all better go get you a Snob lipstick because you niece, if you're watching this, you know I put you on that Snob lipstick because you stole mine and I had to get another one. But anyways, <laughs> back to the vlog, or back to the channel. I also got from CVS um, this lip pumper. So initially, I thought this was just a lip gloss, but it's actually a lip pumper, and it reminds me of my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I would say it gives me the same feel as well. It makes my lips feel like they're actually burning. I know it's kind of weird, but a lot of the lip plumpers they have something in them that really like bring attention, or maybe makes blood rush to your lips to make them pump up. That's what I feel like it's doing. But it's definitely like really, it burns. Like especially if I put this on like right out, like right after I prime my face and I have nothing on my lips, nothing on my face, and I put the lip plumper on, like that be burning. And I'm like, dang, am I dehydrated or what? But no, like that's even with this NYX. But it's a, like, it's in the color PIU09 and it's like a pink iridescent color. It's super freaking cute. And I, I really do like that product. I feel like it does pump your lips up. So I also got this NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Um, I guess I can try it right now. Hmm. 
I love how light it is. It's super light. My Fix Plus is like running low, so I needed to get another one, which I did get another one today, and they have them in different colors now and smells. This doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like spray. You know, like it doesn't smell like any alcohol or nothing. It just it's supposed to be a matte finish, so we'll see how this plays out. And then this finishing spray was $7.79. So um, I used to have the NYX Photo Loving Primer, and I really, really enjoyed that primer, but I never purchased it again um, because I got some Estee Lauder stuff, and it ha I had like a free primer in the Estee Lauder package because I spent a certain amount of money. But I think I will go back to this NYX um, primer and the setting spray because the primer I really, really enjoyed, and it was a photo loving primer. The next thing I got was by LA Girls called Velvet and Bronzer Contour Stick. So since I was running out of my infamous truffle by Fenty Beauty, I wanted to try like an alternative and I feel like this is such an alternative, but I want to swatch it on my hands guys so you can kind of see how this looks. Um, that's the color right there. It's not dark enough for me, I need something a little deeper. Um, especially if I'm going to be contouring, but it is nice um, if you're maybe fair skin. I just think I just picked up the wrong color, so maybe in the meantime I can use this for something else. The next thing I got was this LA Girl because I was looking at Becca highlights and stuff, but I was like, hmm, let me try LA Girl stuff and NYX stuff. So I picked up this LA Girl Strobe Light Highlighter. And I'm really excited to use this, and it's in the color 80 Watt. I love the packaging. I love anything that's like gold. And I'm just gonna show you guys. Wow, it's like really shimmery and gold. But it doesn't really, it's kind of powdery. I don't know what to think about this. It feels kind of cheap. And um, I wanted to let you guys know that I did go to Super Target thinking that they had LA Girl. Don't go to Super Target thinking they have LA Girl, expecting to get some LA Girl because you will not get it. So I went to Target and of course I couldn't leave out of there empty handed. So I just got another Sonya Kashuk brush. Just an angle brush and I only got this because it was on clearance. It was for $2.48 so I mean we can all use clearance um, brushes. I also got this NYX white eyeliner and milk. One of my fellow MUAs recommended this. So I got this just to go on my wet line because I want to recreate this look that I will be bringing to you all pretty soon. And it did require this white under eye um, eyeliner. I also got just um, this NYX eyeliner as well. It has a felt tip and it also has the pencil one for your wet line. So I'm excited to use this to see how this is gonna play out. It's called the Two Timer by NYX. And I just got one of my everyday Wet n Wild eyeliners with the Pro Filter tip. Um, it's called Pro Line, Fine Lines, and Black. You can get this at Walmart. This was $3.99 at Target when I could have got it at the PX for like $2.99. But that's just how I spend like impulse buying. I really need to stop because this month I was not supposed to be buying any makeup. So, I also kind of want to go over with you guys, and I know this is like a drugstore makeup haul, but I kind of want to go over what I picked up today from MAC. So, here's my little MAC bag. I went to MAC in North Star Mall here in San Antonio, and I got the new Fix Plus, which I'm really excited about. It's in rose. So, they have them in different scents now. They have lavender, coconut, rose, and then just a the regular kind. So, the rose, of course, was pink. You guys know I love pink. So, here's the Fix Plus. I also got a new palette for my concealer. Um, this is the one that I use. It has a corrector at the bottom, two correctors at the bottom, and then my NC42 up here, 45, and then some darker shades. I really love and swear by this palette. I also got some new truffles. So I'm gonna just put the truffle next to that LA Girl contour stick that I got, and I just wanna see how much darker it is. So remember I swatched that right here on my arm? So I'm gonna put the truffle right under it. Yeah, the truffle is way darker. But honestly, the consistency is not that big of a difference. So if I were to get that LA Girl, this contour stick in a darker shade, everything would be fine. Like, 
I would be pleased with that. The next thing I got with was this Sephora eyeliner. Um, it's just a classic line felt tip eyeliner. I also got my Studio, my Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45, which I'm gonna have to take this back because this is not the right color. I should've got NC42. I picked up NC42, I put NC42 on my hand, I was tapping around in it, and I still got NC45. Why the hell did I do that? I don't you know. But this is not my color, this is too damn dark. I need to go back and get the NC42, which I'll probably do that tomorrow, or this weekend, maybe make a date out of it with my husband. And they also had 40% off on some of Nicki Minaj's lipsticks. So I got one of her lipsticks and it's in the color, the pink print. It's so cute. It reminds me of a velvet teddy, but it's a little bit pinker. And I'm just gonna put this on my hand. I love this color. It looks almost, it reminds me of Snob, which is my favorite um, MAC lipstick, my go-to, my favorite of all time lipstick, honey. Yes, honey. So I got two of my troubles, honey, because I was running out, and so I have backup now, and I spent $75, like I said, at CVS, which that wasn't too bad. Um, but I thought that, that, I really did think that that drugstore makeup would have been a little cheaper. When I got to the register and she rang all my stuff up, I was like, huh, $80? Okay. But of course I ain't sending because of course you don't want to act like you ain't got no money when you go up there after you done ring up all that shit. So anyway, um, I also got some Morphe brushes. Um, here they are right here. The gold ones are the ones that Morphe teamed up with Jacqueline Hill for. And I got some more fluffy brushes, some more eyeshadow brushes, a foundation brush, because I typically don't use brushes to apply my foundation. I normally use a beauty blender. But I wanted to try the um, the brush technique to see if it changed. Like I see a lot of makeup artists using the brush technique, but then they go right back over with the beauty blender. So I don't know, we'll see how this works. These are all synthetic hair brushes, and um, I'll just name them off to you. I got the M439, which was the foundation brush. I have an eyebrow brush in M321. Um, I have a tapered eyebrow eye shadow brush in M505. I have this fan brush in M310. I have this other white haired tapered eye shadow brush in Y14. Here's another tapered eye shadow brush in M330. Here's M438, just a pointed like contour or highlight everything brush. Here's another eyeshadow brush in M433. This one is in B5. I normally use a brush like this by MAC to blend out my um, cheekbones and my contour, and it's like really raggedy now, so I really needed another one. And I'm not sure if this one is synthetic here. It feels really good. It's the B5 brush. And then I got this one, which is like an angled, fluffy, tapered brush in M104. And then I got another angle brush um, and the B35. You can never have too many angle brushes. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like, share, and everything on this video, honey. Make sure you go visit my website. I have some bomb shades and I have some bomb phone cases if you're an iPhone user um, that are for sale. And check out my new nails. Aren't they cute? They're like holographic ombre. But yes, I love them. Shout out to Nails by Snoop here in San Antonio. If you're in San Antonio, please shoot me a message. Um, if you're an e-commerce business owner, please shoot me a message and let me know. I'm interested in doing some business um, collabs with you. Um, just hit me, send me a DM on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter and Snapchat, and I have my email listed below. And don't forget to check out my website, www.yasminbianca.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Army, come here. Come here. Come here. And Ermi wants to say hi. <laughs> Y'all know I love my poodles.
Again, thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a good day. Let me know too, send me some video um, suggestions. If you wanna see anything, let me know. Um, I'm now filming in the living room, which I normally don't, but if you wanna do anything or see anything, just let me know, shoot me a DM. Um, follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Mwah.